from Ultimate Infotech with my friend Dave. So today this is the chapter of computer hardware and as because is this first chapter of our uh, of this course we are going to talk about this SMPS. So we all know SMPS is the power supply of main computer but anyone knows what is the full form of SMPS? It is switch mode power supply. It gives power supply to the whole computer so that we can use it. So it gives power to the CPU so that it mainly goes, sorry, it may have this power mainly goes to motherboard and your uh, CD drive or uh, hard disk or SSD, whatever you use it, it gives power supply to those. So it basically its works is very simple. It only gives power supply to the whole computer so that we can use it. So let's check. We will now talk about this. So guys, uh, I don't want to take much more time of yours, that's why I took out the four screws out of here. So this is the whole SMPS, you can see it. And we all know there are lots of, lots and lots of wires. So first clear it out what these wires are for. You can see there is a uh, two yellow and two black wires there is uh, this is p4 connector there is four pins it gives power supply to the motherboard uh, actually not mother uh, motherboard it gives power supply to the cpu the main processor and gives power to this fan so in our next uh, chapter video we will talk about this motherboard but first of all, we are going to talk about this. So, this P4 connector gives power supply to the processor so that we can it can calculate uh, whatever it uh, whatever it does. Then this is IDE connector. Some of your IDE connector having only just hold on. Some, uh, some of your SMPS having 20 pins and some of them having 24 pins. No matter what, uh, how many pins are there in your SMPS, but 20 pin and 24 pin uh, both can give power supply to the whole motherboard so that it can run perfectly. If you uh, runs a VGA cable or uh, sorry not VGA cable it's a uh, video card or uh, it, uh, your RAM or your uh, any SATA or PATA port for your hard hard disk or uh, CD drive it helps to run it gives power supply to the whole motherboard so that all the components run quickly and well nicely this P4 connector, I told you about this, it gives only power supply to the processor and uh, the processor fan. And now we can see there are two wires. They normally give power supply to your uh, external peripherals like uh, if you run any CD drive or uh, hard disk, it gives power supply to those. Uh, if you are having a PATA drive, PATA hard disk or PATA CD drive, this is 4 pin plug, you can give power supply from this. If you are having a SATA device, uh, SATA hard disk or uh, SATA CD drive, here it is. This is for SATA, PATA and SATA. You can get anything. If your SMPS, if uh, your SMPS is very old, you don't have any uh, SATA connectors uh, out there, you can get such kind of wires from any of your computer shops so that you can, uh, yes, you can connect this with SATA wire, then it converts to SATA. 
this part of the SATA converter. Uh, you can get it from any computer uh, shop. So this is the wires we talked about. So now this is the SMPS and this is the main power source. It gets power from your running home switchboard. You can connect a wire. Uh, you can also uh, call it as a power cord. You can get it from any computer computer shop. And beside that, you can see a fan. Here, you can see a small fan here. It tries to keep this SMPS cool because uh, when you 220 or 240 volt electricity enters into this, it converts the DC electricity to AC electricity. So it uh, within a few minutes it gets very hot. That's why there is a fan so that it keeps the uh, your SMPS cool. This is the SMPS. So I just want to. Um, let you aware I just don't want to let you aware about how to check this SMPS is correct or not to check if your SMPS is all right there there are lots of uh, lots and lots of wires you can see there are lots of black wires which work as a neutral or ground whatever you can say and there's only one wire you will get which is colored green this is for power if you uh, like u shaped pins not now uh, it now uh, shouldn't be covered it been uh, this pin should be nude so there is a black wire and green wire just check it out then tries to tries to short them but First, you have to give power supply to this, connect this, then short this black and uh, green wire, then switch on your uh, plug. Okay, otherwise, you will get a terrible shock. So, by this, you if the uh, fan runs, that means your SMPS is totally alright. If it doesn't, that means your computer having some serious problem. So if you short this uh, green and black wire, if the fan is running, that means your computer, uh, your SMPS, your SMPS is totally all right. So, so guys, I got my whole equipment here. This is the power cord I told you. This will go to your normal switchboard, and this will go to your SMPS. So you can see there is three pin. It is also a 3 pin. So now I am going to connect this and this to my switchboard. Yes. It got messed up. Yes. I gave power to this. Now I will short this. Uh, where is my pin? Yes. Here it is. So this is the green, this is the green wire and this is the black wire. I need to short this. So, so now you can see the fan is running. Don't do this by your own. I'm just doing this to just let me uh, show you this. So fan is running that means the SMP is totally fine. Now how will we uh, know, how will we get that this SMP is giving proper, uh, sorry, proper voltage or not. Uh, you can see the description. I will uh, give the, I gave all the information uh, right there. Which, uh, which wire give you the, which power which volt now it will give I gave every information out there so now to check whether it is giving the proper voltage or not normally it consumes 12 volt power so I will 
shifting it to 20 then your black pin this is the digital multimeter and this is the black pin I am going to connect this to black wire okay and I just want to check how much this orange wire gave so I am connecting this so now you can see 3.2 volt it's giving 3.27 volt of power from this green uh, sorry from this orange that means it's giving proper voltage and uh, one by one you can do everything by your own but always remember this black pin will goes with only black one and this red one you can check it from uh, by green then uh, red or orange purple yellow whatever one by one you will check it and you will if your SMPS each wire is giving the perfect voltage that means okay you don't need to check uh, like uh, there is a uh, four to five orange wires sorry four orange wires you don't need to check all of this force okay don't check all of this four wires you just check only one of this orange wire that's it you just check only one of this orange wire there is only one blue wire one green wire there are lots of red wire you just only check once then if you get proper voltage that means your SMPS is totally fine so that's all for today from in my check out my next video I probably upload this video on Saturday uh, every Saturday I will give you the whole tutorial reviews whatever uh, video I will make I will give uploads on every Saturday so just check it out in my next video I will talk about this so in my next video I will talk about this uh, motherboard so that's all for today with SMPS thanks